YouTube, it is Matt with Olympus Reptiles. And, and Curtis with Olympus Reptiles. And we're bringing you your very favorite, and as far as I know, only reptile news show. Always bringing you the information in a professional manner. And unlike other news shows, we're not fake news. We're only real news here at Olympus. So, Kurt, I understand we had to name the snake from our last episode. Have we done that yet? Yes, the snake was a uh, it was an albino, an albino what? female that we named a canthra. A canthra, awesome. So you guys picked a name, and you know what? We're going to do that again in a little later. Or do we want to share now? Are you going to wait? We can share it now. I'll share with you what's in our cobra basket. That is going to be, ta-da, a banana black pastel. Just a very beautiful, beautiful snake. And you've got to think of a good name for him because, and again, we got to stick with mythology. It could be Nordic, it could be whatever. I don't really care as long as it's mythology because Kurt just keeps calling him black banana. And that just sounds like black an, old, banana. an old rotted piece of fruit. Kemp. You well, it's getting the black spots like a black banana. Well, he is, but it'd be like all black if he was a black banana. And if he was an all black banana, he'd either be worth a lot of money or dead. Uh, so, you know, let's hope he keeps his color. All right. That's all we got there. So make sure and put in the comments a name for him. And we're ready to get to the news? Yes. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and get this party started. Kay. So I, I recently watched Dave Kaufman's vlog. Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventures. That's the one. There's a vlog in the Reptile yeah. Adventures. You should just watch them both. But I watched Dave Kaufman's Reptile Vlog, and what I learned is not only is he super talented at, you know, making movies and reptiles and traveling the world and going to New Caledonia, but the guy's also like a fashion genius. Did you know that? A fashion genius? Yeah, like he's literally in the field, and they fashion new clothing from stuff in the field. It's amazing. Like, like I mean, a cornfield or? No, like in the field herping, herping oh, field, like okay. field of work. But like, I'm, I'm telling you, man, Ralph Lauren ain't got nothing on this on this guy. Like, go watch Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventures in his vlog. Watch him and, and his partners. He's he's doing a collab. Make some clothing in the field. I think he's filming with Snake Discovery, actually. All right. So <laughs> Emily forgot her belt. So the IT husband is gonna We're make making a little do. wire belt for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that works. And, and tape for a belt buckle? I might, I might tape this together. It's pretty neat. Do you know what a uh, royal python is? I, I do. Actually. You do? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, what is it? It's what those people on the other side of the pond, because we're, we're over here on the American side, it's what they say in like the other side of the pond for ball python, typically. Oh, because uh, Lucy's Little Creatures, she talks about, she shows her whole ball python collection, mm -hmm. but in the video she starts calling them royal pythons. So I was just wondering, you know, if, it, if it's a special snake they have over there that we don't have over here. You know what it could be? What? There, there is a show about this kind of thing on TV not too long ago called Turncoat from back in the day. Maybe she's a British spy from oh, yeah. back in the day, going American and British and flipping back and forth. All my ball pythons video, Cleo, she is a pinstripe royal python, a fireball python, dinka royal python, the calmest ball pythons. Royal Python is absolutely incredible. Oh, I want to show you guys something too about technology. Cause see, I'm actually using my computer. I've got all my notes there for the videos I watch. Kurt, what's on your computer? Uh, nothing. Nothing, cause I'm using my phone. He's using his phone. <laughs> this is the difference in budget. I get the full screen. We just give him the little one. All right. I also watched Reach Out Reptiles with Garrett Hartle. Uh, it, he's pretty cool guy and he brings up a conversation which I, I think is an excellent conversation to have and it's about the snake virgin mary and snake virgin of baby jesus oh really yeah, really like it's really happening there is the virgin mary's in the snake world uh and, and yes i jest and please don't crucify me get that fun because you know we are the christian faith so we can we, we like to make a little fun of everything though no. but he talks literally about snake parthogenesis which is a virgin birth, kind of how that happens, some of the things that are playing a role in that, where a female is literally having viable eggs without ever being mated to a male. It is so cool. So make sure and check out Reach Out Reptiles. Hey guys, my name is Garrett Hartle. This is Reach Out Reptiles. And this week we're gonna be talking about virgin birth in reticulated pythons. Do you wanna keep it going? Yeah. Oh, it's still my turn? Yeah. All right. Well, I also am going to stick with the theme of fashion. And you need to go watch Timothy Lottman. He did a little video on July 4th. And I'll tell you what, he is the best dressed person on YouTube, hands down. I don't care what genre you're in. You can look at fashion genres. You can look on reptile genres. You can look on music genres. Whatever you look at, nobody, nobody on YouTube dresses as good 
as Tim Lottman did on his July 4th video. So make sure and go he check He dresses out. better than me? Way better than you. Way like, better. He's better than me, dude. I got the bling. He's dressing better than me. I wish everybody a happy 4th of July. And I'm wearing the exclusive Olympus Reptile t-shirt that I got from Matt. Well, um, you should check out uh, Snake Discovery because they do a really good video on if you have a snake that has a burn on it, how to take care of it, how to treat it. Um, she just got, uh, she has a friend's carpet python that she's taking care of and they got it from, I don't know, from Craigslist or somewhere. And when they got it, it had a burn on it. So she, she goes through everything what you need to do and, and then um, how to take care of a burn. You know, and I really like informative videos like that that do show you how to do something that, you know, a lot of people don't want to show because they're afraid of backlash about showing the snake with a medical problem. Beautiful snake that he recently got off of Craigslist, but he wasn't told that it has an underlying issue. A thermal burn. This is what happens when you do not use a heat mat with a thermostat. Uh, and that brings me to another one that's really similar, and that was constriction addiction. You know, and, and we like constriction addiction. They're kind of new to the YouTube game, but they're really not new to ball pythons at all. They've been in it a long time. And he did a video about when you have a female that's egg bound. So very similar, like a medical problem in your breed facility and how to implode the egg to help it pass it, I mean, so it can pass the egg out. By importing the egg, he actually will show you how to insert a needle into the snake in the proper place uh, on the right situation. You can't do it in all situations and extract some of the fluid inside the egg, which is gonna kill the egg, but should allow the snake to pass the egg and not uh, hopefully perish, giving it a better chance of survival with that problem going on. So it was really neat to watch. She has retained an egg, you can see right here where she has this egg it's about four inches from the vent um, i have ultrasounded her and this is the last egg that uh, is in her we just want to get this egg out unfortunately we're not going to be able to save this egg we just want to get this egg out and uh and get her back on track well hey matt have you ever had any suggestions on anything we can do to improve the uh the news show that we're doing well you know i, I have and if you guys have suggestions at home please please let us know one of the things I started doing was I read that a lot of it's about different angles and expressions so you have to move the camera while you talk and you also have to change your facial expressions while you do it the more you do this the better the video is I had Reggie's Urban Jungle and I like Reggie's Urban Jungle. He, he's a pretty neat guy. Uh, and I, I'm not sure, but I think he watches our channel. Have you ever watched Reggie? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, Reggie, let me know. I think you watch us, don't you, buddy? Because he did a video, and it was literally called Clutch Update Number One. Sound familiar? Mm-hmm. He did a Clutch Update Number One. And guess what kind of snakes it featured? Ball pythons. And not just that, but what else? What was our first Clutch of the Year? What was Clutch Update Number One, Kurt? Uh, it was Mojave. Mojave! And it literally features Clutch Update number one and Mojave's. And I was like, Reggie, actually, congratulations. Beautiful snakes. We're really happy for you. Hello, this is Reggie with the Reggie's Urban Jungle. And today I will be giving you a Clutch update of Clutch number one. The pairing was a male Pustavi to a female Mojave. Um, do you ever dream about snakes? Actually, yes. You I do? Have. I have. That's, that's embarrassing. Well, so does uh, Justin Koblika, yeah. and he's been having this dream for like the last two years of the snake he wants to, to create, and he actually did. You know what it was? I have no idea. It was a dream sickle that also carries orange dream and yellow belly. Oh, I'm going to look at that. I bet that's gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really good looking snake. And if you're not familiar with, with JKR, you really should be. He makes some like, just crazy outlandish stuff. It's awesome. Dude, you're not going to believe the dream I had last night. Justin, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. If I can create the inception of ball pythons, a dream within a dream sickle, how cool would that be? The orange dream, dream sickle. Uh, another person I watched is Josette Taylor. You know, and Josette's been a longtime supporter of us. Uh, and, and Kurt, do you know why leopard geckos are called leopard geckos? Uh, because of the pattern on them? 
No dumbass. That's what I thought too. It's actually a pair with how they hunt their food and how they kind of pounce like a jungle cat. So it's the movement in that. But I thought the same thing. So they use their claws too? Yeah, they use their claws. No, no, they don't have claws. But it's kind of how they do that, I guess, is where the name leopard gecko came from. Who would have thought? We all would have thought it was a spot. So really neat to watch that from Josette, kind of learn how that happened. Why they're called leopard geckos? And you would think, oh, well, duh, it's because they have spots. No, not actually. The reason why they're called leopard geckos is they tend to, when they're hunting they after their, their prey, tail. they wiggle their little tails and they get up on their hind legs and they really look like some kind of a weird Puppy reptile dog. version you know, of a, a leopard, a cat. <laughs> well, um, Freedom Breeder has kind of started a new channel on YouTube and basically they're going through on different snake morphs and basically ex explaining to new people on what to look for to identify different morphs. And their first one is a pastel. Mm -hmm. So they explain what the colors are on the pastel and then when you combine that to other genes, what you get. And it's, it's really informative if you're interested in learning more about the different genes in snakes. Today we're gonna talk about pastels. The pastel gene in ball pythons. It's kind of like a backbone to the ball python uh, combinations that you see every day. Very cool. And that brings us to one last video, and this is also going to be our interview today. So make sure and stick around for the interview portion with Deadly Tarantula Girl. And she shows off her regalis babies. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's little spider babies, right? So she, she does a lot of spiders, hence the name Tarantula Girl. But she also does a lot of crotalus species and some other snakes too. So she's kind of all over the map. It's really neat. But she shows off her, her regalis babies. And uh, with that, you, she shows one of the adults... Kirk, you know what she shows it doing? Um, being a spider? I don't know. She shows it doing it. Oh, yeah? What is it doing? Show watch the video. You'll see a spider doing it. Like, literally. Like, she shows like, oh, it's doing it. So go check out Deadly Tarantula Girl and see whatever Regalis is doing it. Oh, look. She's doing it. That's what Regalis do. They get in a vertical position on a tree branch or limb or a piece of cork bar flat and putting all of her legs together and actually blending in very very well with the natural pattern of the bark in the wild when they're just chilling that's what they do they camouflage themselves and they do it quite beautifully and stick around for part two because she's going to be our interview today and i'm so excited about that so make sure and watch that curry anything else you want to add no nope. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And you know what we should do? We should, I've been told, I've never personally seen it, but I've been told that sometimes there's this weird monster back here roaming around that kind of looks a little bit like a Bigfoot got bred by a Chewbacca. I don't know. Maybe we should sell hunting tickets. Like hunting tickets? Hunting tickets. Or maybe somebody can win a chance to come here and hunt Bigfoot on yeah. the property. What do you guys think? Somebody want to hunt Bigfoot? I want to hunt Bigfoot. You want to hunt Bigfoot? Yeah. Kurt will go on a guided hunt with you to hunt Bigfoot on our three acres. See if he's actually back there because that's what people keep saying. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.